your forwarder. Seem pretty good. Ten is banned before you, and Moy. Yeah, I know. No, I'm still good. They're not bad. I mean, I haven't seen Ten in a while. Moy's pretty good, I think. <laughs> Yo, Aurora Smash said, then you're banned then. But anyway, we gotta commentate this match. Yeah. It looks like we got Sheik Fox. Yeah, Sudo is a very button heavy player, which is good. He's He's got some control. He doesn't like kill himself after it. But uh, from what I saw from Intern, he's pretty patient, but he lets the spacey dictate like you're supposed to. Good stage positioning. Safe way to get back in. Rolls in. They're just feeling each other out right now. Nice Nair, putting them off, off the stage. But up B. Probably. That up tilt could have been something, but for it, it's nothing. Oh, yeah. Um, Miss grab there as well. Intern's committing pretty hard. Up throw, up air. <laughs> Textbook stuff, but it works out pretty well. She, did she win one of these? No. Formioli and I, like, both kind of won the last one. Well, I won the last one. <laughs> How much money did you make? Hmm? How much money did you make that day? Like 30 bucks. Was 30 gone. bucks? All right. That's he got the... 70. Oh, he got and 70. I beat him. Whatever. Okay, okay. He's keeping him above him. But she I don't know. I feel like when you're on a platform, you can always down throw him, and you can keep chasing him until he falls off, and you can drop zone. That is true. Um... I guess maybe on both occasions, both characters want to look for grabs or just wait. No, well, they want to see it as an option. I know Sheik wants to go for grabs. I think uh, Intern's spending too much time trying to, um, or spending a lot of his like energy trying to keep his position and like keep like keep his ground. But you can't really do that against Fox. Like it's okay to give up your ground a little bit. You'll you'll be okay. Good choice. Yeah, because then you can do stuff like that. When yeah, you can't always keep your ground versus spaces. It's just not gonna work. Oh yeah, he says yeah, yeah, dude. Smash is Illinois. Yep, that's the thing. But once again, uh, Sudo com coming down from the top. Both players coming down from the top platforms to optimize their aerial use. Really good stuff. I like how they come down from platforms, but Sheik doesn't have as many safe things to put in. This is true. Oh, that was not a good up B. I'm not sure why he has it? the tag on. That's Probably really... should have given that a little charge. But now Fox is going to yeah, sit here. He's getting a little bit impatient. He really wants this kill. He probably knows he could have gotten it the other. Yeah. Good there choice. You. Yeah, very no, good choice. Nothing to mess up the up smash. Oh, too, that's too aggressive. Yeah. He, he, he's Let's just see. letting oh, him get back to the platform. Probably trying to jump Nair or something. Um, Like, when Fox is above you on the platform, your options of going up to him are probably somewhat even with the risk reward as Sheik because he can drop through Drill, drop through Nair because Drill's drill shine, uh, Nair's probably grab or shine. So, but coming up with an up air, then you land on the platform and you start chasing him around. So, like, Sheik really is the one in this match because Fox just goes in again. Yeah, again. Fox has to go in. That's yeah. why. But Sheik needs to, each time there's an interchange where they're like near each other, like right now they're like attacking each other. Um, Sheik needs to decide carefully, like, is this risk reward in my favor, or is it not? And then you choose if you want to do that option accordingly. Like, if it's not in your favor, you probably just shouldn't do it, you know? But... Okay. Oh. Good, good choice. Option. Didn't see that coming, but... Alright, game one goes to Suda. Yeah, this is his best of three still. Definitely. Mm -hmm. I could see uh, Sheik probably going to, like... Well, I'm assuming he banned Dreamland, so... I'm not sure. I feel like Sheik wouldn't do well on FD. I, I don't know the matchup, so... He's... Sheik... If Sheik won, they'd ban FD, but... I think as Sheik, I would take Fox to Fountain. Or Dreamland. Well, but Sudo doesn't play too campy, so I wouldn't be too nervous about him running away. But he can do short with the lasers, because he's, like, he's pressing buttons well. <laughs> but I like Sudo's, um, movement pattern, because he doesn't just stay, like... He doesn't stay at, like, one, like, plane Speed. of the field. Yeah, he does it. He definitely varies up his speed well, cause like you have to be fast in order to go between fast and slow, cause you can. Everyone can play slow pretty much. Yeah. Oh, if that had been reverse forward, that'd be sick. Yeah. But right now both are sitting back in neutral. Um, usually, I think both players are letting themselves get back to neutral instead of optimizing the fact that they're at ledge. If if I were the fox, I'd be very comfortable with that, cause like. If, if you're playing a Sheik that continually destroys you, you might want to not reset the neutral, or you might want to reset the neutral. 
if you're getting comboed because if you mess up the combo then you're back you're back on the chase or getting chased around yeah getting thrown in the ground you do those little orange things and you come back nice but yeah, right now, I don't think Fox should be at the at the ledge like that. No, but no. I think Sudo's conditioning him with his approach of like his dash dance into the drill, because I've seen him go into the nair instead, and it's really offset him. But he's not using it until like he doesn't use his mix up that he has like kind of prepared until he knows it's really worth it. Oh, that is something you could get. Too aggressive from Sudo though. Like, he had to capitalize on the disadvantage, but he probably should have just taken position instead of actually going to attack him. Because you still punish him by taking position, but, like, of course you'd rather take a stock than take position, but sometimes you just gotta realize that the stock taking opportunity is not there. Agreed. Chase down off mesh. Oh. I feel like people should, instead of trying to, like, hope they miss a tech or tech in place, you should just chase, you should land on the platform with them and then go up smash them. I mean, that's fast. Mm -hmm. It takes a little bit of reactions, a little bit of timing, but you got it. Oh, good interchange. See, see I like there. how he threw him back. He took a stage position instead of yeah. taking the, the possible up air. Because he doesn't, because if he messes something up, she gets a stage position, and it's even stocks. She doesn't want to mess around with that. Smart. Agreed. Stage position is more important than people think. I just, I don't know. I just don't see it enough. Yeah, I also really like how Sudo's putting out hitboxes that, um, and they don't really, aren't meant to hit him. Like, sometimes he'll go full hop back here in the middle of stage <coughs> just so that he won't approach. Just to keep him out so he can kind of be like, this is my territory at this moment of the game. So don't come in because I'm putting out a hitbox. It's not necessarily meant to hit him. I mean, if it hits him, of course, you'd be like, oh, sweet, got him. But that's not his purpose. Yeah, makes sense. That's a that's a higher level thing that's being done. It's pretty good. That higher level thinking though, it's pretty yeah, important. Dude. It's like meta times two. Yeah, you can't just he kinda stopped in shield, but Sudo was kinda confused. He was probably expecting a narrow shield. But like just shield stopping in the middle of the stage while you're not approaching, like in the neutral, you shouldn't really shield unless he's blasting you with like Falco lasers. You should be always moving. Nice jab up smash though. Yeah. Nice nice jump in. I would have messed up that jump cancel up <laughs> smash. Because I am not good at the game. Or you just don't play Fox. Or I play Peach and she doesn't need up smash, she doesn't need jump cancel grab. She needs down smash. Where is, Where bracket? is bracket? Type, Type exclamation point yeah. bracket. Damn, dude. Oh. That was a slow a slow chase. It's double shine, though. Keeping oh, him near platform. Oh. It's okay, though. Should have. Do you think you should have backed him there instead of up throw? I thought he should have up thrown and executed that better. Oh. Both sitting in shield. Oh, both sitting in shield right there. <laughs> Scary stuff. Oh no, not up smash on the shield. Sudo, you got buttons depressed. You're good at this game. Come on. You just see, I think Flub's coming out oh, of his last Oh yeah, All right. that was slick. He nice. did the forward air as a mix-up because it didn't, it, it was just at that point where like, you'd have to question like, um, you know, sometimes it knocks you down, sometimes it doesn't. Uh -huh. Can you stay up? And it was at the point where he questioned him. He, he like questioned it for a second. Nice job, Sudo. And uh, right as the forwarder hit him, he missed the tech because he wasn't sure. And then he up smashed him right after. Yeah. And if he didn't, if he misses the up smash, he's in the middle of stage. And there's no way he's gonna tech behind. Like, well, if he if he did tech behind, it wouldn't really matter because he's still got a lot of positioning. And after the up smash is over, the tech will be over, and they're back in the neutral. So risk reward is just heavily in, in uh, Fox's favor at that point. Yeah. Who's up next? 